Getting overlays used to be tough. You used to have to get a designer. Everything had to be custom made. Now you can practically get everything online for free. What I want to discuss today is what do you actually need? Because I think unless you're doing dock levels of production value, you don't need much at all. But let's get into it. <laughs> right now. <laughs> so what do you need? Starting soon, be right back screen. I think you definitely need those two things. Be right back screen because you don't want people coming into your stream and wondering what happened. Maybe you vanished into the ether. Maybe you disappeared and no longer exist. Just kind of the same thing as the thing I said first. But you don't want people wondering that and you can solve it nice and easy with just a simple screen that says be right back. The starting soon screen, kind of different kind of situation. You want a screen where people can come in and not miss any of the content. So five, 10 minute countdowns are normally pretty common. But also, as I've mentioned in a video before about production, from a production standpoint, it's useful to get that starting soon screen going. It's useful to play some royalty free music, which interestingly enough, Grooves by Gamecast has just launched recently. They've got some great playlists. You can find it pretty much anywhere you find music. So go and check that out because that's going to cover you for the DMCA free music. You can then go online, check, I can see there's video outputting, and I can hear that there is sound outputting. As much as everything will tell you everything's going fine, sometimes you just like to know, and that starting soon screen will cover it for you before you have to start worrying about why something isn't working. So, be right back, starting soon. I think those two are pretty important. Now, a we finished, like uh, that's all folks kind of screen. Although actually, if you could make like a porky pig, that's all folks kind of to end your stream that would be great i don't know if that already exists for someone but if it does let me know in the comments because i'd like to see it that would actually be great but the ending screen like the ending screen not 100 percent necessary because you're finishing your stream like boop, goodbye but you know if you was like in a bar and they said the bar's closed and then you were snapped and you were outside or if you were talking to someone they had finished the conversation and it was like yeah cool they just got up and left like just like that like they were just gone you don't want that <laughs> that's kind of it's kind of a weird vibe so my suggestion if you want to kind of make it a bit more like all right bye okay cool bye okay cool bye the we finished here kind of screen. Not a bad thing to do. Both of these can easily be made in XSplit Broadcaster. You don't need to go all out with them if you don't want to. But I mean, you could add a color block, you could add a text source, you could throw in a GIF or a video in there if you want as well. You've made yourself some nice and easy. I mean, it's kind of about its purpose as opposed to what it looks like, but that might be me being utilitarian. I don't know. You could be funny with it as well. Like I've had one say, like, cool starting soon JPEG. Didn't make me laugh just then, but it might make someone else laugh <laughs> down the line. Point being, I think those are things that you need. Let's get on to your main screen and see what you might need there. When it comes to overlay elements, honestly, for me, I don't think you need much of anything at all. So a border around a webcam, I quite like to have them. It's a personal preference. You don't need one. Some people are using things like XSplit VCam to get the virtual green screen going on. You don't need a board around that. But if you happen to be using like the old rectangular webcam source like I like to, you can put a board around it. It's really easy in XSplit Broadcaster. Just right click on your camera source, click the effects tab, select shape, and then add the border. You can easily change the color and thickness right here as well. A little bit of branding might be nice, but it's not needed. And uh, I'm going to get controversial here. I don't think you need alerts. So here's the thing. In my personal streams, I had them and we had like our own custom sound effects like that the community had come up with and stuff like that. And it was pretty fun. But when I was setting up new streams, I realized I didn't need or want them anymore <laughs> because it's just noise and things appearing on the stream like the screen that I don't most of the time I as a viewer I'm not that interested in and the information that I would get from them 
I can see it. Like if you're on Twitch, for example, subscriptions go in the chat. You get a new follower, it'll turn up in the dashboard, and you can read those out and react to them yourself and celebrate them yourself. And if you've got like an Elgato stream deck, you can set up sound effects that you can just press and you could do all that yourself without having to have the alerts. So to me, I don't think you need them. I think they're just a distraction that at this stage, the novelty is kind of worn off. You don't need them anymore. Oh, and I'll tell you what is a bonus. Less elements mean less resources used. Kind of negligible if you're using a web source, like you control V that just into Exploit Broadcaster. It's negligible if everything's on there in one kind of web package, but still, the less stuff you have, the less resources you are using while streaming. But this is all just my opinion, you know? It's not necessarily cut and dry. Some people do a lot with overlays. Like some people create whole digital societies with their overlays, but to me, I don't think you need it if your content is going to be you hanging out, just playing video games and relaxing. The meat and potatoes of your stream is the content. You got to get that down first. Even the example I used earlier, uh, Dr. Disrespect, the character and the content are the thing you go for. The overlays and everything, the production elements are merely enhancements to the content that is already there. So that's what you got to work on in my opinion but in your opinion let me know in the comments below what overlay stuff do you think is like vital to a stream do you agree do you disagree let us know in the comments below for now though like this video if you've enjoyed it because we greatly appreciate that and we've got all sorts of stuff coming out right here on the xsplit channel so be sure to subscribe for now though thank you for being here we greatly appreciate it. We've got new videos coming out all the time on all sorts of topics. So we will see you right here on the XSplit YouTube channel. For now, though, I'll see you later. And I'm not even just going to get up and run away. I was thinking about it, but I'm not going to. <laughs> see you next time. Bye.